What's up with WNBA player Caitlin Clark? Answer. Caitlin Clark is an extremely hyped rookie player for the Indiana Fever in the WNBA. She came from Iowa, a relatively smaller college than other, more prestigious basketball colleges like UConn, Tennessee, or South Carolina. In her NCAA tenure of four years, she was able to break many records such as the scoring record. She recently became viral due to her playstyle, which is pretty much shooting long-range threes, sometimes from the logo a la Steph Curry. This, and the fact that she was able to bring Iowa to the March Madness Finals in two straight years, made her a very popular player. Of course, basketball is a sport, but it's also entertainment. It comes with drama, whether we like it or not. The first major one I remember would be a rivalry with LSU alum and current Chicago Sky player Angel Reese, where she taunted Caitlin during the NCAA Finals. However, this was waved off by both parties, which is considered part of the game. Since Caitlin is such a popular player, her popularity has now moved on to the WNBA, which is the best professional league for women's basketball. Of course, with more eyes on the game, there's going to be a lot of opinions on her by many people, including current and former players. One of the sources where people were saying as to why players were hating on Caitlin was an interview with one of the WNBA GOATs Cheryl Swoops. A lot of what Cheryl was talking about were misinformation though, saying that CC takes too many shots or that she took an extra year to break those records, which were wrong. However, Cheryl apologized to Caitlin privately already. Another one would be Diana Taurasi's, another one of the WNBA's GOATs, comments on incoming rookies. However, I personally agree with DT said. She basically just says that there will be an adjustment period for all rooks in professional leagues. If you look at the NBA, a lot of HOF players struggled. Kobe struggled, KG struggled, and even Wemby initially struggled. That doesn't mean that these players won't be great. They'll just have a transition period to deal with. However the narrative of players hating on Clark kind of stuck. Aya Wilson and Becky Hammond have said that players harbor no animosity towards the rookie and are just playing professionally, stating that they love what she brings to the league with more fans and more attention. Now, what about all this drama? This was heightened on an extremely obvious flagrant foul by a Chicago Sky player Chendi Carter on Clark that was called as an away from the ball foul, making people believe that there are truly players who simply hate or are jealous of her. This was certainly an unsportsmanlike foul and was absolutely should have been called a flagrant. Edit, it has now been upgraded to a flagrant. However, we also should remember that with basketball, there's trash talking, there's going to be uncalled bumps, and physicality. Clark is also known to be trash talker as well. Many people express that CC is getting unnecessary hate because she's being hailed as the savior of the WNBA, which is still on its road to being a profitable league. We have to note that the WNBA, prior to Clark, was also on the rise, where teams such as the New York Liberty and the Las Vegas Aces getting a ton of investment and success. CC and other notable rookies this year like Reese, will now amplify that growth even more. Some argue that Clark should be welcomed with open arms, since she's the reason why the league would be even more profitable. While others say that she's just currently getting her, welcome to the league, moments. Others argue that her popularity is due to her being white and straight, which makes her more marketable than other players, as the majority of the league's players are black. While some attribute her popularity to her play style and college accolades. In my opinion, this all just comes with more eyes on a relatively young sports league and more investment in women's sports, especially since there are many fans of an individual player. Some people might not know that the league itself has been physical. CC isn't alone on being whacked by many vets. Kelsey Plum, Angel Reese, and many more have experienced the same thing. But since CC is so popular and polarizing, it just gets a lot more attention from the media and social media in general, especially Twitter.